So this is Michael Rogers with Film Music Magazine, and we're here with Brian. Your film at Sundance 2014 is Internet's Home Boy, and we're focusing on your uh, creative relationship with your John Yeah, yeah. What was the origin of you two teaming up? Have you done work before together? We've done. This is our third project together. Um, my, my third project with John, and uh, he's great. This is spectacular. He, um, we met uh, a mutual sort of filmmaker friend who introduced us, and we started making films, and, and uh, he just he really was a good fit. Right? So, uh, he has a rock background? Yeah, John Dryden Nagy is, is a member of the Submarines. Oh, wow. Yes. Seminole. Yeah, yeah. So, they're... so in, your, in your conversations early on, how did they start, and then how did they trans transform? Well, you know, I, our, my conversation with John has always been um, talking about the project, what I thought was important about the project, what I thought the main kind of things were, and, my, and sort of um, communicating to him my approach to filmmaking and really showing him other stuff. Um, and so from there, he kind of does his thing. I try not to hit him too much. You know, just, uh, I, uh, I've said I, I try to put him in tight spots and see, see what he can do to get out. And he, he does has just amazing things. To get out of the spots. Of so, uh, do you have you know, a uh, process of bringing him in early, or is it after a sort of an assembly that you start to show him in terms of spotting? Uh, yeah, I. Um, you already decided he was the guy. Early. Yeah, no, I've already. Yeah, 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 I already knew uh, before we started the project that I wanted John to do it. Um, he's. Uh, yeah, I show him a little bit. We talk about it, and he starts making music, and I start making the piece. You know, uh, even when I'm in the sort of script form, and looking through the transcripts and getting through things. I wish more filmmakers did that. Yeah, it's yeah. just the, it's the most optimal. Because then you're, yeah. you're almost like working with you. Yeah, no, it, and I think it's I think it's got to be almost that close. I mean, the music uh, is important. For the film. So as I'm, you know, it's a it's a nice little kind of give and take. You know. Write the script all yes, day. He'll send me a track, and it's a delight to hear it. Right? And, and then I'm I can sort of direct him where I'm headed. And, and hopefully, it all kind of uh, comes together. And kind of, you know, all the lines converge at some point. So by not hemming him in, he's, he seems like the type that thinks outside of the box, and he's yeah. really pushing the envelope a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'll give him some temp tracks occasionally. I'll give him. I'll definitely talk about style and temp, and I'll definitely talk about the, what I'm doing. It's all like a theme. But yes. um, even the content is on the story uh, very closely. And uh, maybe show him some interviews, but not, not usually. And uh, he's usually able to uh, clue into exactly what I'm thinking and then uh, bring up a, a level that I didn't expect, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he brings a whole thing that I didn't know that was possible. And instead of that being an entirely different direction, it's usually taking what I've already communicated. So, growing up, are there some specific films that have scores that stand out? I don't trust Yeah, there is. You know, the one the one that comes to mind actually is um, the, uh, All the President's Men. Oh, yes. Because All the President's Men has a wonderful, wonderful score to it, but it also doesn't have any music for the first 20 minutes. And so it's. It draws you right in. It draws you right in. And by the time the music hits, you just you fall off your chair. <laughs> It's so and that cue suddenly gets, evocative. You're saying, you're like, yeah, and and that's of course when you start to get pulled into this nasty dark web of uh, Nixon uh, lies and surveillance, and of course that's scary. But but basically, a note. Just a yeah, exactly. But that one note, yes. and you're you're floored, yes. and you're scared as you should be because they're getting themselves into some serious trouble. Absolutely. It's stunning how just you know, some design or just a note, the right note. That's all it takes. Yeah, it's true. Simplicity is actually really key. You don't want to overdo it. That's another thing John does. It just it seems to it seems to like the sim simplistic sort of not simplistic, but but um, you know not overworking the track too much uh, and understanding that, that it's building and going somewhere and that you're um, that, you know as the story kind of changes, you know, new elements and new Musical elements um, kind of pull you along. Do you play at all? 
I'm a key, keyboard. keyboard. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up with keyboards, but I'm, I'm not a keyboard. Or shall you think Yeah, and I, and I, I did more than that, but, but it's not... Um, You're not such a player. No, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not such a player. So how's your experience with this film this year? It's been spectacular. Yeah, it's been really, really moving. Uh, standing ovations. Oh, yeah. uh, just a really great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank okay, you so thank you very Cheers. much. Right. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank Bye-bye. you. Thank you.